Hi Kate, and thank you for your questions. I summarized your questions and I just pushed them into the box because your questions were way too big to fit the box. So first of all, one question is how can I understand the Sales IQ report? If you will go to Google and you will search for Zoho Sales IQ report example, you will see that you have this first uh, answer, reports Zoho Sales IQ, and here you will have a full detail about the report and how to make sense out of it okay it's very detailed it's actually a pretty good page so the second part of the question will be about your lead sources you're saying that when you have zo campaigns leads coming to zo crm it will not show as zo campaigns leads and when you're getting leads from other places it's also not showing the right lead source in zo crm now the problem can be many things but i will try to help you a bit here so first of all, whenever you go to Zo campaigns, go to the contacts, go to the sync services, and you should see that you have at least one sync available here. If you don't have any syncs, that will be probably a reason why you're not able to push the leads properly, the lead sources properly to Zo CRM. So you will need to have here a a sync with the contacts and also a sync with the leads modules and then it will automatically know how to attribute the lead source whenever people uh, click and go to your website from the email now one more thing that will happen you will see also on the left side you will have a campaigns module and when you click on it you will see all the emails that were sent to people and also if they opened it, if they, it was delivered, if they clicked on it, if it was bouncing. So you will have all the information under campaigns. So it's very, very good to have this thing. As for lead sources in general, and let me just go to the field. You will have uh, usually lots of different lead sources and those lead sources are something that you are controlling. You're and only you. We like to create, using a UTM, you, we like to create a process that when someone goes, let's say, to my AdWords or to Facebook or Google My Business, they will click on the link. The link will have a UTM parameters and based on those, I'm going to track the person. So I'm the one who is really controlling those lead sources. It's not something that's being done automatically for you. There is a video that I released a few weeks ago about tracking campaigns. And in this video, I'm showing basically how we are tracking from different lead sources into the CRM. So I, I recommend you to see this video and maybe that's a solution that will work for your business. Mm.